next news is out of Louisiana, USA. Louisiana GOP backs child marriage bill. A lot of 16-year-olds are very mature. As it stands in Louisiana, there's no minimum age to get married. That's why the original version of the SB 172 filed by state Senate Yvonne Cullum was set to make the minimum age at 18. But the GOP-dominated Senate, which anyone who doesn't know the GOP is, it's the Republican Party, uh, the dominated Senate um, only passed the bill after it had been amended. They tried to revise the bill to set the minimum age limit for 16, with anyone 16 and 17 limited to marrying people no more than four years older than them. The bill passed 22 to 15 after it was amended. The amended version of the bill allows anyone under 18 to get married as long as their parents gave permission. Representative Nancy Landry, a Republican from Lafayette, said, We want children to be born into wedlock if possible. We're discouraging that uh, with this bill. If they're both 15 and 16 and having babies, then why wouldn't we want them to get married? This is really disturbing to me because a lot of 16-year-olds are very mature. So uh, this is a problem because 15 and 16-year-olds shouldn't be having babies. <laughs> and that within itself is a problem, uh, Louisiana. And they're also, might I add, jumping on board with this whole like absolutely no ab abortion bans that's rippling throughout the South. Uh, so yeah, you know, if, if your 14-year-old gets knocked up, they say, why the hell not should they be married? And this is outrageously disturbing. Uh, the amended bill with the 16 and the 17 year old being allowed to marry someone no more than four years older than them, I think that I would have been acceptable. I, I think that would have been great. That would have been a great start. But as it stands right now, you know, if, you're, if your dad's 38 year old friend knocks you up at 12, apparently in the state of Louisiana, you can marry him now. And this is very at disturbing. 12? You can marry at 12? You can marry at any age. There's no age limit. Hmm. What should the age limit for marriage be, in your opinion? Well, I think that a great start was putting it at 16 and 17, saying that they can marry nobody older, you know, with four-year age difference between them. Wait. I don't think that 16 and 17-year-olds should be getting married. But that's my opinion. Um, so, wait. So, the so I, 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 I'm I confused with the timeline a little bit. They, they tried to bring 18, and they said, right. no, let's go with 16. But now all of a sudden they have no limit. Like, oh, so they it originally had no limits, right? Right, and now they wanted to bring eighteen, but then they fought fought back against it to make it sixteen instead of eighteen. And then what happened? Well, how come went from sixteen to nothing? Because they had the bill. They had the bill, and then they revised the bill, and then they made an amended version of the bill, which allows anyone under eighteen to get married as long as their parents gave permission. Okay, uh, and you think sixteen is not isn't in a lot of countries in Europe? It's the age of marriage is sixteen. Is sixteen? You think it's too yeah. low? No, I mean I'm. I I said I I accept that. I think that's great. Sixteen is fine. I personally would hope no one would get married at the age of sixteen. Um, I think you know you should go out and enjoy your life a lot more. Right. But uh, yeah, but uh, I mean, I also hope. But I'm, that's why I'm saying I'm not. I'm not taking my personal opinion into this bill. I think sixteen year old is perfectly acceptable right i think canada is also 16 mm -hmm. um and there there are other parts in, in the u.s that you know is 16 some some states as low as 14 but louisiana has no limit no, to no, 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 no. and then having a republic you know having the republican from lafayette that say we want children born into wedlock if possible yeah what that's disturbing mars is saying 16 is way too long too young so then I don't, I mean, I, why is it that then a lot of, I mean, Europe is 16 and if, it, if 16 is way too young. I mean, it might be way too young morally, but so is cheating on your wife is also morally yeah. long. But that doesn't mean that there should be a law against it. But here's what we want. We want to protect our states. I, I want to protect every country, if I could personally, um, against letting 10-year-olds be married to 50-year-old men. I don't want child brides. I think that that's, it's terrifying. We have not seen uh, many good cases in the news we've been reporting in over a year of fantastic outcomes between a, a nine-year-old child marrying a 50-year-old man or, or what have you. Uh, this is, it's disturbing. It's terrible. And I think that that is what this 
um, original this Yvette poem was trying to protect against by saying 18. 18 is when you're legally allowed to do things in the United States minus drink. Um, you're, you're technically a legal adult. So let's let's start there. She was able to go down to 16 with some limits. Again, I think that's great. I don't agree. I don't think any 16-year-old should be getting married. I don't think 18-year-old should be getting married. So that's why I don't make the laws. Um, yeah, but the, the question of what it is a good age to get married is a different question from what the law should be, right? right. Because good advice could be also be like, don't drink too much alcohol. But right. are, are we going to be like, let's pass a law and how much I'm um, putting an alcohol limit on everybody? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, well, that's good advice could also be like, don't party too good. much, party a little, you know, this much, right? These are all good advice. But right. again, that doesn't mean there should be a law for it. So right. when it comes to what is a g good law, what do people in the live chat think? Think what age should be when it comes to the law? What should be the age limit? Um, because somebody in Facebook is saying thirty. What the hell? Um, <laughs> I don't know. And the picture that the the cover picture, the girl that in the cover picture, she looks like eight or nine. I don't like. This is not even. I don't know. But I don't think. I, I don't. I and and I think actually people thinking like, oh, I think this age, that age. Maybe that's not a good way of uh, figuring this out. I think it should be. This should be a question that we ask health professionals or like psychologists rather than and people. scientists and, and when, scientists. when your brain stops uh when you're when your brain is fully mature which i think yeah. um, is 25 so i, mean, I think that <laughs> that's what we actually should be asking we all have our own personal opinions and what i'm trying to say is with my personal opinion it should not be made into law um because i don't have any good reason for mine it's just what i think is good advice so that's why i'm not a lawmaker it's why i'm not trying to say that my opinion should be law yeah i uh, 16 was a great place for them to start but i think having no limit at all yeah no, no, is disturbing. No, yeah no limit is in insane so you know the fact that they have no limit that's insane but yeah. good advice might be i don't know 25 right but again just because good advice is 25 that doesn't mean that the law should be 25. The law, 25 is way too high for that to be the law, right? Um, or even 30. Maybe good advice is even 30. I don't know. Um, but Someone's again, saying in the live chat that a 16-year-old girl married to a violent 19-year-old guy still would need the permission of her parent to obtain the divorce. I think that's terrible. I mean, do you really need permission from your parents to get a divorce? I know that you needed to get married, but I'm not sure where you're at, uh, Bernita, but that's... You know, right. interesting. Somebody on Facebook is saying, "What's the difference between marriage and sex?" I don't think marriage, if it's if it's work, okay. I don't know what you're saying, but here's another thing: the what's the what's the age that you could sign a contract? I think that should 18. be the eighteen. In the United States. Okay, then that should also be the age for marriage, because if you can't sign a contract, I mean, isn't a, isn't marriage technically signing a contract? So wait. So if marriage is technically a contract, signing a contract, and if I'm wrong, well, how could how could if I'm wrong because I know 18 is like for credit and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to be 18 to sign into like you know should legal contracts. So there you go. It should be the same age as that. Um, I think like if you if you're not old enough to sign a contract, then you're not old enough to sign a marriage contract. Isn't that? Same as that. S simple. <laughs> yeah, I solved the problem. Um, so Pam is saying, I think 22 is a good age if they want to get married. But that's not the question, Mary. Uh, for, you know, the, 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 it's not the 22 is a good age for marriage. Yes, but that's just good advice. That can't be the good advice question and the law question are two separate questions. It's an age when most people are out of college and all. Yeah, again, we can't make it the law just because that's the good age. Uh, Bernita is saying yes minors need permission of their parent to be part of the contract the marriage um, okay oh I see so I'm saying yeah marriage is basically signing a contract that the parties are just parties oh yeah but actually my, my logic fails here because children can sign contract if their parents you know like for example you can't Maybe the parents. Child actors, right? Yeah, they have no, to have parents. Yeah, so your parents could actually sign for you if they have their best interests in heart. Uh, so 
my my logic doesn't work because if you use my logic then you could even marry a nine-year-old as long as the parents come signs for them. So never mind, my argument just failed. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.